Hi everyone, so welcome back into my live streaming section. So right now it's about 11 p.m. in Jakarta, Indonesia and it's about 11 p.m. in Jakarta. So I'm going to continue my previous video about the live streaming above the uh, user interface design for the same in. So there were a lot of people were requesting me a lot of the source code about uh, this uh, design. Well, I'm going to give it to you later on after the project is done. So you're gonna, you know, a kind of of this animation to make the user feel like, wow, there is an animation and I really like this kind. So it's gonna be a little bit hard for us, but we could try it, okay? Anyway, uh, we got this image view. So first of all, if you want to do the animation, you could just go to RES and then new. Okay. So you're going to see there is the anim uh, directory. So you can click like new and then animation resource. So this is the font name of the animation. So we have to uh, carefully to working with the animation. So Yeah, we want to try to give the name uh, one by one, so I think it has to be, so it's based on the animation's name, which is uh, from small to big, small to big, okay, and that's it, and then okay, okay, and then over here, we just give them uh, properties of the animation, like, if you want to make it from the small into the big, uh, uh, it's like using the scale uh, sorry it's like the scaling so we have to use scale here all right so we have to focus on the two points because uh, this is y and x and we want to scale like that okay and if you want to scale like that you have to setting the pivot pivot is like the notch of the coordinate it has to be in the middle otherwise the scaling animation wouldn't be uh, in the center Okay, so this is supposed to be pivot 50% and then 1.0. 1.0 is about the, the default of the value. So basically 1.0 is the normal sizes. But if you do like 2.0 or even 3.0, it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be a little bit bigger for, from the original size okay and then here we go we give the alpha from 0, 0.0 to alpha 1.0 okay and here we need the duration and we need the kind of animation so this is supposed to be duration about uh, 100 and then start offset is like a delay on it so just put 100 Okay, just put a hundred about the daylight. Okay, and we need a little thing here interpolator. Okay, and Android and then uh, anim and accelerate interpolator. Okay, it just make the animation is little bit smoothly than the basic animation. Okay, we close them. Okay, so yeah, remember you have to use the uh, interpolator to make the animation look smoothly than ever. Okay, so let's continue on the Java. So we got this ID image view, and then we're gonna put here uh, image view, and then the ID is image view. Okay and use it private okay because we don't want to let this uh, image view it will be accessible into another java class okay so image view find and then like this okay and then we have to register the animation private animation okay so animation is about what was the name small to big so here, small to big, like this, and we have to load the animation, small to big, 
and then uh, animation utils because we want to load it you know add any and then small to big okay and passing animation and stop it okay because we want to stop it so here image view start animation and then this is supposed to be small to big okay and now we are able to play it into the emulator so you want try to play it play it into the emulator okay so i'm going to run the emulator emulator here so we want to see how it works <laughs> so while waiting i'm going to take uh water hello please enjoy uh wow it's not flutter it's uh, about a java okay so we got this app right and then we're gonna find it in the emulator animation you see that right so this one uh bottom to top and then alpha okay so this one it has to be uh, translate okay from y delta about 200 i uh, no, maybe 300 to sorry to y delta zero okay and then alpha we can from a 0, 0.0 to the 1.0 okay and like we used to do is the giving the another properties just put here okay just like this okay and maybe this is supposed to be about 400 and this one 500 okay and we have to register it into a java so bdta just like that okay and yeah you could simply just uh, duplicate this uh, animation for import the animation just like this and we have to know the this section welcome back this is text view and this one it's also text view but they uh, it, it doesn't have the id okay so why wait there's something wrong here okay and this one it doesn't have id so we have to give the id which is a sub title header okay just like this so we got this text view and then we got the subtitle header so we have to register again this one private text view uh, text view and then a subtitle header okay and we have to lock it just like this and then we have to uh, uh, we have to replace again this one just replace and put like this okay and don't forget to replace it okay and we have to pass in the animation we copy this and then this is for the BTTA just like this okay and then uh, there is another that we have to just uh, simply to duplicate it okay now i'm going to run again into the emulator just wait for the couple minutes i'm going to run it into the emulator Uh, I'm from Indonesia. Hi, Petal. I uh, have fantasy. Aku kuliah di UNPAM, Universitas Pamulang, jurusan Teknik Informatika. Okay. Hey, uh, hey, one way. Yeah, how are you today? Thank you, bro, for the compliment. So, yeah, design is in constraint. So, right now, I'm using the constraint layout, and it has to be, uh, it has to be your video. 
okay so let's see again uh, in this section there is the animation okay just like this okay you'll see that there is animation wow amazing right so i think that i just want to copy this uh, btpa and then i'm going to make another uh, file here which is btpa2 okay so the main thing that i just want to change it is about the start offset so basically the start offset maybe we could go with uh, 800 just like that and i'm going to register again just uh, make it simply you know just duplicate all of them and and then we have to register this one okay uh, text view 2 we got the text view 2 but i think that we just need to focus on this section edit text edit text 2 and then we got the button okay so over here we have to uh, private button and then we got the button okay and then private edit text we got the edit text and then we got another edit text that we see over here this is edit text 2 okay just like this okay amazing and now we just want to copy and then copy like this and i just want to give this is for the battle and this is for the edit text just like this okay and after that we could simply to give them an animation so one two three okay and this one supposed to be btt2 so the difference is just for the daylight for this kind of animation so it should be a uh, more fantastic you know so i'm going to run it again into the emulator okay so while while waiting i just want to i uh, just want to uh, reply your chat wow so many people here cool yeah uh -huh. so there is this uh, animation uh, we try to close it and try to run again okay there is animation okay very nice right so this is the basic animation that we could do in the android studio okay just like this okay and then we could send in all right so for the password i think you have to uh, change it to the this one to the text password just like that okay and then whenever you run again into the emulator it's gonna be uh entry your password on the input type so it's gonna be more secure for the user right so yeah so this is the little animation that you could do on the android studio for the android application and i just want to uh, upload it into the github so maybe you are able to use it into the github okay so later on i'm going to update the source code into the github so please check in the video's description and right now i'm going to shut down so thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next live streaming. So goodbye for now. Bye.